Welcome to Electrified. It's your host, Dylan Loomis. First up today, Wuwa on YouTube shows us a row of covered Model Ys, suggesting that production of the Model Y has officially begun at a small scale at Giga Shanghai. So this yet again shows the efficiency of progress at Giga Shanghai, given that phase two, where the Model Ys are being produced, was completed and into initial production mode in about 10 months. The phase two project took less time than phase one and the total area of the plant was actually larger. You can also see the four black Model Ys that joined the row of about 40 or so that were already covered, and if you look closely, you can see an employee seemingly starting to cover those four. The speculation is that this batch of production will be delivered to local Tesla employees. From January to November of this year, Tesla cumulatively sold around 110,000 Model 3s, becoming the leader in new energy vehicle sales in the region. I think it's safe to assume that for 20 2021 in terms of Model Y production and deliveries, that number should definitely be eclipsed, but we will wait and see. Tesla Mania on Twitter asked Elon if he'd be coming back for another dance cameo, to which he replied, I'm hoping to be back next month. Cheers to Tesla for reaching another major milestone, and here's to hoping for some more awkward gyrations from the GOAT in the next few weeks. Next up, as we've heard in the past few months, the relationship between Tesla and LG Chem is continuing to expand and develop. We heard about Tesla looking to acquire a stake in LG Chem's battery spinoff that LG Chem would be producing their own cell with 4680 like specs and that LG Chem confirmed a plan to double their production in China to support Tesla demand. Now, the Korea Times reported that LG is going to supply a new NMCA battery cell to Tesla. LG's new battery business unit is set to become the first company to produce batteries with nickel, cobalt, manganese, and aluminum anode materials for EVs next year. LG Energy Solution is set to provide the NMCA batteries to Tesla, according to industry sources. LG Chem, however, refused to confirm or deny the report, saying we cannot confirm this as we cannot specify the names of our clients. The report did suggest that these new cells could be used in the Model Y at Giga Shanghai. And we should definitely keep an eye on LG Chem's battery spinoff as they did indeed win approval for this just about a month ago. LG Chem will own 100% of the division for now, but it is planning an IPO of sorts that would float between 20 to 30% of the unit but this IPO may take about a year or so to complete. Moving on, Bloomberg reported today that the Las Vegas City Council voted unanimously to advance plans to dramatically expand Elon's Loop project from a convention center transit system to a citywide network that will include hotels and one day potentially even the airport. Steve Davis, the Boring Company president, said that no public money is going to be used to finance the project and that the company will cover the cost of the main tunnels, and the casinos are actually going to pay for the stations and tunnels that will extend from the main tunnel. So it's looking like Las Vegas is going to be the first city to get a full-scale loop. But the best part of this news, the vote to approve the plan will be using Tesla vehicles, meaning every person using the service will have the opportunity to see a Tesla and actually be inside a Tesla vehicle. Obviously, great for business, and this should be a really cool service in a huge tourist center once the Rona subsides. Elon replied to a Tesla owner's SV tweet saying it will get absurdly good, referring to Tesla's full self-driving. So this is obviously exciting, and honestly, seeing some of the maneuvers it's pulling off already, I think the argument can at least be made that it's absurdly good in a lot of instances now. And yes, blah blah, a huge march of nines to go, but see Seriously, watching a car drive itself using mostly vision when you really think about what's going on is wild. And Brian from i1 Tesla shared a graphic of the Model Y's seven seat configuration that all but confirms the third row will indeed be front facing, not rear facing as some have speculated. Brian said he was driving with the trunk open and once the beeping stopped, the warning went away, showing the third row graphic on the screen. So this definitely is not concrete, but it is something. We can reasonably expect the seven seat configuration sometime in Q1 of 2021. 
one. And as of the recording of this episode, Tesla stock is up about 4% on the day to around $645 per share. And tomorrow, hopefully we see some real fireworks. But that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you did. I really appreciate it. And with that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope that you have a great day.